I think um, he has one of the best slice backhands in the game right now. He has a great ability to manoeuvre the ball, keep it low, and he puts the ball in places where the modern player doesn't like it. So he's got to, he, he can do that better on grass than any other surface. Also, um, grass is, is a better surface to have a big serve and one big shot, and that's the thing that he does better. Um, when he gets on clay or a slower surface, that's where he can expose the movement more. His movement is an issue. Um, I think his consistency on a daily level, where he can turn up one day, play well, and then not be as into the match uh, the next day. What he does better than any young player in the world right now, though, is he plays his best at the big tournaments. He's not scared by them, he loves them, and I think this year is very important for him because it's the first time, really, we see him have to defend a really big result. Quarter finalist last year. This year he goes in as a low seed, so he should have an opportunity for a round or two to find his feet with not getting a big seed to have to play before he takes on a bigger name. So when you look at, at that opportunity, I think you can see him you know, go well into the draw. Once he's there, you never know. Well, obviously winning the uh, the Wimbledon Juniors last year, which on, on the grass was a fantastic effort for such a young Australian woman. And then obviously grass is one of her best surfaces. She's won um, in Mildura earlier on in this year and then she's oh, obviously gone over to Europe. She hasn't really had much luck um, getting uh, when she's had the wild cards into the uh, Grand Slam. So uh, fingers crossed she'll get um, a draw that is pretty favourable to her. But she knows how to play on grass once again. Got a great size backhand, one in Nottingham. Um, just last week so and I think her ranking now has gone to 255 so she's certainly going in the right direction and, and like I said hopefully the draw will be um, on her side and, and get a couple of winnable matches underneath her belt. Wimbledon for Sam is is the worst of her majors so she doesn't really like grass she's had uh, some bad experiences on it the past year she first round lost last year so she can't do any worse than that and I think that's the attitude she's got to take into it um, I think over the next uh, week she's got to really work on trying to get a slice serve going well and hit a million backhands because that's the shot that gets exposed on the grass for her um, there's no reason though if she could win a couple of rounds and build some confidence that she couldn't go deep into the tournament with a serve like she's got and a forehand as big as she's got the surface should suit her better I think it's getting over the psychological hurdle you know she comes off having such a great clay court season and uh, you know has a bit of practice on grass and and like Todd said it's just um, you know I used to hate playing on grass but um, I think you've just got to just go out there and just say look I'm just going to go out there and I'm just going to try and play the best that I can and just get on a roll we really try and concentrate earlier on in the match and anything that's possible and you know maybe she has to play a little bit differently than that she normally likes to play you know use her slice backhand which she, she can hit maybe come in behind her serve occasionally and just try and mix it up and do something a little bit different and just try and enjoy the occasion.